In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct a line parallel to a given line in GeoGebra. And I'm going to show you how to use, do this using some really kind of basic fundamental tools in GeoGebra, even though GeoGebra has some more advanced tools that can do this. And that's because right now we are learning how to use those more fundamental compass and straight edge type tools. So we want to use GeoGebra in a way that's analogous to that compass and straight edge even though it does in fact have a tool to do this with directly. So the first thing I need to do is I need to click more because this doesn't show me enough tools yet. And now I probably have enough. So since I am constructing a line parallel to a given line, the first thing I need to construct is my starting line. So I've selected the line tool and that's a line. Doesn't really matter where it is because that's not the part that I'm practicing. I'm practicing creating another line that is exactly parallel to that line. So to do that, I'm going to have to construct some other things. The first thing I'm going to have to construct is a second line. And that line needs to intersect my first line. So I'm going to have them intersect at point A just so that I can have fewer points. And that's just a choice I made. I could have had them intersect somewhere else, but I needed a line that intersects my other line. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this angle here and I'm going to copy it to where it needs to be on my new line. So if I want my new parallel line to be through point C, which I've just decided I do, that that's where it's going to be, then what I need to do, I'm going to use the move tool to adjust my work area a little bit here, is I need to copy this angle here and put it up here. So I'm going to need my compass tool so that I can copy an angle. But first, I'm going to need to put another helper point on one of these to create the radius. So I will put that helper point right here. And that will be the radius that I use with my compass tool. Because so I'm not just going to use the parallel line tool, which does all of these steps for me at once, because I'm still practicing the skill of how to make a parallel line. So now I've created something with that radius and I'll center it at A. And that gives me a point E on this line that is the same distance from A as this point D is on this line because they're both a radius. Each of them is a radius of this circle A. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to take my compass again set it to that same radius of DA, and now I'm going to have it centered at C. And I will mark the point right here. So this point F has the same relationship to point C that point D has to point A. And I can use those relationships to create something that'll be the same relationship as point E has to A when I copy that angle. And by doing that up here, I'll create a parallel line. So the next thing I need to do is I need to create another circle. To finish setting up my relationship, I'm going to need a circle with radius DE. And I can place that at D. And you can see that it intersects point E. And so the intersection of those two circles will tell me where to put the equivalent point up here. So I will make another circle with that same radius, pop it up here, and the intersection of those two circles will have the same relationship as point E has on the other set of lines. So this point G has the same relationship to points F and C as this point E does to A and D. And so the line I can construct through these two points, C and G, is parallel. And that's how I can construct a parallel line. And if I want to check my work, I can see using this measurement tool, which I'm using to check my work, so I can use extra tools for that, that this angle has the same measure 
as this angle. They're both 14.7 degrees. And if I use my move tool and I move point B around, you can see they both change together because they're in relationship with each other. So they will remain parallel lines because I set up that relationship using copying an angle. And that's why we needed to learn those basic constructions is so that we have them when we're building these more complicated ones. That's how to create a parallel line in GeoGebra.